Namaste. In the last video, we cleaned up the height column into all centimeters, and this was the code that we wrote. Okay, in Tableau. Now, in this lecture, we will clean up the weight column. Okay. So, if you have tried and got the result, well and good. Otherwise, you can just follow along with me. Now, if I check what are all the values present in the weight column, I see that I have hundred. Uh, I have results in kgs, and I have values in uh, lbs in pounds as well. Okay, and these are the only two variations that I have, so this makes my life a little bit easier. And I can use the replace function. I can also do it using the split, uh, but I'll just use the replace function here, and I'll say weight in kgs. Now, what I'll do is I'll first uh, check if the string is lbs or the weight is kgs or the weight is kg. So I'll say if contains in the weight column the string of centimeter if this is uh, so not centimeter the kg okay then replace that particular weight column replace the kg with nothing okay i'll just pass in nothing here so that it is a blank string here else else if this condition is false then obviously it will contain lbs so i'll just copy this whole code this line of code paste this here now if it contains the string of pounds or lbs then replace that lbs string with nothing and now you see and i'll also have to just end this here okay uh, uh, my bad since i am using else condition then i need not pass this condition here otherwise if i was writing here else if then this condition is true okay otherwise if i am just writing else i just need to pass in the output result okay so else replace the lbs with this particular string and now this result if i just click apply let's see the result is exactly what i want right but there's a problem here in the lbs if i come down the lbs is just converting to lbs it is not converting to kgs because i am not telling it to convert it to kgs okay so i need to first say i have to first make everything an integer so once i do this now easy because this is a string value by default tableau keeps them as string values okay so this is integer now and here as well i'll have to first say keep it as integer and then multiply it by See one pound is point four five three five nine two, okay. So I'll just multiply this by point four five three five nine two, and this will give me the result in kgs. But again, this will not be integer. This will be a float because I'm multiplying it by a float. So now I have to convert it to an integer again. I click apply, and now I have the result in kgs, right? So everything that was kg is kg now, but everything that was in lbs. That is also a kg now. For example, 190 lbs. That is 86 kgs. Okay. So this is how we can use the replace function. Now, as an exercise, I encourage you to try the same value results on value, wage, and release clause, and check if you can uh, successfully convert these strings into numbers. Okay. Because you see, there is a m sign here. So we need to write a condition that converts this m into 10 to the power 6. Because this is millions, and this is k means thousand, so multiply this by thousand. So forty six into one thousand forty six thousand, and also remove this euro symbol from all of these. Okay, so this will be a good exercise for you. So I'll be just posting the answers for all of these columns in just a moment. So pause this video, try this, and watch this, and and play this video again. Okay, so now it is time to look at the solutions for the wage in euros. For the value in euros, wage in euros, and the release clause in euros. Now, first, value in euros. Let us first see the aliases, and these are the values. So I have few members who have zero value. So these zero value means they have no parent club right now, and they are free agents in technical terms. So hence they have zero value in the market in the, in the football transfer market. And I have some players who have M million symbol. and some players who have a k symbol like this person so so either i have m k or i have nothing okay 
so this is what i have to make sure that i in include it in my calculations so i'm first saying this is very easy code first of all now it is saying that if the uh, string value of the value contains m symbol then it means that it is containing the million symbol then first of all replace the euro symbol in that particular row with nothing now how did i get this euro symbol well it is easy i just copied this string value any string value and if i just paste this here i'll get a bunch of line values and i'll just remove everything else and this is the euro symbol that i'm looking for okay so replace the euro symbol with nothing and then and then after that i'm left with 185.5 m and then i'm saying split that result on the million symbol m symbol and give me the first token so now it is splitting up on this m symbol and giving me the left value so token number 1 so it is i am now left with 185.5 and then i am first taking a float of that because it is st still a string value 185.5 so after taking a string value float value of that i am multiplying it by 10 to the power 6 because it is millions similarly for thousands and if it does not have k or m then it means that it is a single in of uh, value zero in this case so i'm simply replacing the euro symbol with nothing then taking a int of it to convert it to a number and then after doing all of this if i do not make this int uh, at the beginning and end what it will do is it will be a decimal number because i'm doing a float here so the result will be 0.00.00 i do not want that so i'm enclosing it with int okay so the result is an integer now so this was the value in euros and now similarly for wage in euros i have if i check i have only either thousands or i have nothing okay similarly for release clause let us see well it has also millions it has thousands and it has a single value as well okay so this is the same code similar code for release clause and now i can safely just hide the original columns of value the wage hide and the release clause also hide because i i now have the numerical values and similarly i can also hide the height and weight columns i'll hide the height i hide in centimeters i have and i'll hide the original weight column 